Good morning ladies and gentlemen, it's Craig here again. I've got a kit review on the, uh, the GeroDesign.com factory. You know, it's a, a quite an intense kit. Um, but we'll go through every part of it from start to finish. We'll go through every individual bit. But as you can see it's in a large box and a small box. I said we've got a small picture on the front there telling you roughly like a, a gantry crane, all the side walls, everything in there. So we'll start off with the little box first and we'll go from there. So I'll move this out of the way slightly. I have another two to do as well, so stand by for those. They will be done in the next few days. But we'll start off with a little box first and see what we've got. Right. So first of all, we have like, uh, yeah. The posters that go on the wall, it's Fujifilm, Crystal Clear Archive Pep Supreme, and got sort of a diagram of the, of the actual, you know, the mouse and things like that in there, and the Yag Tiger and everything else. You can put them on the wall, I suppose, if you really wanted to, I think that's what they're for. We've we'll got a map as well, which is always useful. So that's the first thing in the kit. And then we get this, uh, give you super glue as well. Which is uh, T sub never used this one before. I think two tubes of super glue, which is a nice touch as well. Often kids don't give you anything to. Um, but it's a very nice touch. But I can't think of any other kids that gives you glue with it. Well, especially diorama stuff. And then we have a lot of resin party. I think most of these are for the uh, for the crane. Let's just go through them all. I think they're all for the crane. So we have the overhead gantry, which. Sits on the top and obviously works, goes along the rollers. It's quite nice, nicely printed, nice and clean. In fact, I don't think it needs cleaning. No, nope. not at all. Can't really see any points that really need cleaning up. It's got little weld seams underneath it as well. You can see those. And again, it's all nicely, you know, well, it comes obviously it comes out because you've got, it'll go that way once you put it onto your. Uh, Railway, or whatever you want to get, yeah, railway, I suppose it is. And then we have a few, we have the hook, so move out of the way. It's quite a large hook, as you can understand, living like the fur, furzing and tiger and all that kind of stuff. You can have to have some lifting weight as well. So that's the hook, which again is nicely done, and again, seamless. I had a little clean up, maybe a little touch on that on that side, but very little, a wisp of, not even a wisp of a file. Probably your finger will take that off. We have that, that's part of it. Uh, this looks like the, uh, one of the, en the engine generator at the top. Again, you can see that. It's got nicely detail on it as well. Little generator, it sits on the top of the crane. For the, I think it's for the uh, ups and down, up and down of the uh, actual lifting, if I'm not mistaken. And then we have a five, four little cogs, which must be on, on there somewhere, so I won't We've got all those little bits there, which is nice. So let's put all these back in the bag so I don't lose these uh, little bits. Which is quite easy to do, especially with me. Let's pop these back in this bag. And pop these in here. And then in this bag here, we have the factory floor. Which are large plaster bricks already coloured if you want to colour them anymore so we've got that again you know, for the factory floor imagine all those together I don't know he's in a, in a box so about a hundred in each in each in each packet so you know you got your factory floor basically there for you and uh, what I can from what I can see in there and there's no damage to anything. Plus, it doesn't matter if there's any damage in there because obviously things get damaged in factories and floors and things, especially within the war, you know, like bombings and things like that. So I'll just fasten that back up and then we'll bring the large box up and we'll see what's in that. That's a good start. That's a good start. So I'll put that back down, I'll put that back in as well. Down there for now. 
and then we'll bring the large box up round to it there's a fair bit of weight in the box I really haven't had a good look at this, I've had a, I've had a skim through it but not a good look at it as you can see it's all beautifully packed, We've got plenty of packing, this came in a box with bubble wrap and the big um, you know, inflated air things all around it so keep that there and there's a box within the box so let's have a look what's in the first box put that side again and as you can see again everything's wrapped in the uh, protective stuff so we'll go up, we'll just start off with a small one first and see what we have here I will presume these are the sides of the walls of the factory here. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, these are the factory front as you can see. It's got a, a name on there. I can't pronounce End Motag. German, so my German's terrible. Anybody can tell me what that means? Does that means factory or whatever? I don't really know. I have to look up. As you can see, the detail is beautiful. Really nice. Nice brickwork. I say it's quite thick as a factory wall would be. And we have another one saying with more writing on. So hall 8, I suppose that means. So and again we have the same same level of detail. And you know, big solid pieces. So which is what you want. Especially if you're in a factory, you don't want it thin thin. That's a one bit, and then we we'll go on this right here. So these will be all factory walls, yeah. and they're all lovely wrapped as well. Same again, it all clicks together. So yeah, you know, the walls again, really nicely done. Plenty of scope on there for weathering and whatever. Really nice. And I say the thickness of the plaster itself. Obviously, no internal detail on the back there, but uh, it won't be probably won't be a problem. Again, nicely done. We'll put that one back in there as it is. And again, we have another side which like it must like lock in together. And it's got a that must be a part where it'll go into the groove, I would presume. Again, a nice level of detail, got some damage on there, a few you know, bullet holes and damage. Yeah, that's, that looks really quite nice. I like to like that. Like the uh, broken bricks and things in there. That's another nice bit of detail. I'll just wrap that back in there and put that back there. And then we get the larger pieces out. Which again is all wrapped beautifully. And you know, it's come all the way from Germany this, so you know, it's, it's, it's travelled a fair bit. So we'll start off with this one first. And we have, yeah, I won't even at attempt to pronounce it on there. <laughs> I wouldn't even have a clue. But there again, obviously, this is the uh, factory again, part of the big, big part of the factory. Again, the level of detail again is beautiful. The writing, whatever it means, we'll have to have a look into that. And there again, that gives you good scope for, um, you know, a bit of extra detail. And again, Nice and thick and chunky. I'll pop that back under there. And we'll take this other one out. And again, this has got grooves in obviously for the for the other bits will come to that yet. Yeah. Obviously there for the uh, for the crane perhaps. Again we've got the same level of detail, the brickwork is lovely and it's nice and thick. And there's no damage at all. No everything's tickety boo, as I say. I'll just wrap that one back up like that and then that goes on there like that and it goes back in there like that so that's the uh, first of the large boxes never goes in together does it never goes back in as you want it
There we go. Fasten that bit. Let's just fasten that back in there. Okay. So that's the first box. Again, we shall go into the next box. Again. see what's in this one and again it's all as you can see again it's all packed beautifully all right so what we have here is a real big pass so we'll start off with this one first you know it's going to be some size building obviously there's the grooves for the uh for the crane again as you can see the level of detail is really beautiful you know really is nice and they seem to be all squared as well sometimes you get warpages on these kind of things but looking at these i don't think there's any warpage on that but level of detail again with windows and everything else on there. so that's a really a really big part that really i've never seen one as uh, as big as that one before but uh, again it's come all the way from germany again and it's uh, survived the journey Right, and then we get onto the little bits and bobs, which is in a plastic bag, so I'll just, I'll just move these pops out of the way for now. And uh, zip, zip, zip lock bag, which is nice. Where was these laser cut pieces of wood? And we have a destruction sheet, which should be fairly basic, which is all you really need for the wood. Yeah. Yeah. This is for the crane gun tree across to build that. Well, so we've got all that part on there. Can't read German unfortunately, but the pictures are self explanatory. They really are. Use needle heads for the rivets, it's a good idea as well. So I think I've got plenty of them, uh, heads and things. Oh. What we have here, we have obviously our laser cut parts. Uh, I'll see as it going along. These look like the parts that fit into the wall with the grooves, as you can see. And again, it's quite thick, you know, it's in thin, cheap bits of wood. All nicely done. And again, these parts are identical, which is good. It's got like must be bolts or rivets or whatever. On there as well, nice detail, that's a bit thin that one. Obviously for a represent the scale thickness I would presume. We have some plain bits of wood with triangles on them. We'll say we'll find that out as we're going along. And again. That's nice. And we get to the meaty bits. So we have a part of the gantry for the crane. Which is nice, all nicely detailed again. And so there's a little bit of wood there. I better keep that just in case it's come up something. As you can see, that you know it's going to come out quite easy. Just press fit and get them out, and then move a quick wisp of a file. But that's part of one of the windows. One of the windows has come out. I'll show you that, but luckily it hasn't broken. Crane gang tree, and there's one of the windows for the factory. Again, you can put your own. I use um, micro, microscope glass for my windows. You can acetate whichever you want, whatever you want to use. Give you a good base to uh, work from. Nice big windows. I shall just pop three of those all together, yeah, for the three if that's on the thing. And then we have some more. There's another little triangles. More part of the crane. It's got Frederick Krupp 120 ton limit, which is nice, and more gantry parts. I presume these probably are for but the we're looking here for the um the the, 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 the teeth back in but the rails run on for the track for the crane I'll see and again we have all the that's you know, a nice touch again with the glip weight the weight limit and the Krupp factory again all nicely lasered very straightforward by looking at it, nice detail again. Like that. And that. 
it's going to be a, a large bill to say the least. But, uh, it will be one to look forward to next year, I would presume. Yeah, yeah, that's where the rollers roll on. B, yeah, these parts, the second part with the Frederick Crooked on, that's the actual uh, gantry of the crane. Yeah. Ah, oh, the little spindles are going. Yeah. Yeah. Use needle heads for rivets. I can use that. I've got some pins. I see it might work on that. Good idea. And again, showing you them parts that go across the uh, thing for the crane on each side, so the crane will run between the two tracks on there, which is nice. It's going to be a one hell of a build, but. Uh, in the end, it'll be certainly worth something different, completely different. I've never seen anything like this before doing a factory. Obviously, I've got a couple of other ones to do as well over the next few days. Um, or from GeroDesign.com and say it's uh, well, it's, it's uh, definitely value for money, you know. Definitely. And sometimes you get, uh, you know, get sales on now and again, so keep a look out for that. And obviously, I'll leave a link as I normally do to. Uh, to the website and you can have a look around yourself and see what you think. Let's just, uh, just want to put this back in here so I don't lose anything. Right. Yeah, I'll give you a save a link to the site. There's lots of different things. We do actually one is it 172 scale stuff as well. Uh, most of it's 135. You've got all sorts of accessories, uh, dioramas obviously. Um, other bits and bobs like uh, carpets, um, what else I can think of, barbed wire which I've got here, which comes in bags. You've got barbed wire, you say from the zero again, and you've got quite a bit in there. You know, that's quite nice, it's got slight barbs on them, you don't want them to obviously too sharp or anything like that, but yeah, you know, all these little things like that all come together in a nice big diorama. You can always build, you not know, use your imagination, but they do all sorts of things. They should, uh, and they're expanding their range, lean up every few months. So, this, so this one's a new one, and the other two are new ones as well, which I shall do, I say, in the next couple of days. But um, yeah, I'm quite impressed. In fact, I'm very impressed with the level of workmanship and. Um, I was going to come together. I have the perfect kit for it. I have the Amusing Hobbies Ferdinand, the last one that's been produced. It's still in its uh, oxide prime with all the writing on, so that would fit perfectly into this. It fit perfectly. So that's what I'm going to do. I'll see, this will be a build for next year. Obviously, coming. We've got things planned at the moment, but it will be coming, and uh, we shall keep you informed about it as we go on along. Like I say it's going to be definitely the Ferdinand. The amusing hobbies further and in the factory and I do have one of those bowl tanks that my good friend Vince sent me which is in again which is in uh, red oxide prime so I'll, I'll just stick that in as well may as well in for a penny in for a pound as they say but yeah worth it so I, I'll give you that say I'll leave a link into the website and go and give them a look and see what you think so I think that's it at the moment. So I'm busy at the moment with the ship still. Um, things are coming together nicely. Just to, you know, a, a total different build to, to build an armor. As you understand, you have to paint a lot of parts before you put them on. I do that with my tools on the um, your tanks anyhow. But you know, things like the funnels. I'll give you a little glimpse of the funnels. You've probably seen them anyhow. So I've done the funnels on there. So yeah. So it's all coming together bit by bit. And today I'm going to work on the low hull, weathering the low hull, the weathering the low hull at the moment. So that's, uh, then I can start putting things together once that's done. So thank you very much for viewing and stopping by. Thank you to my new subscribers and old subscribers. Um, so a big thank you for the comments and the positive feedback. Even though I don't respond, respond, which is just again just me being lazy. One day I will get round to doing it properly and replying. So. Don't, 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 don't hold me to that, but I think I will eventually. Uh, yeah, so obviously Greg signing off, and we'll see you very, very soon with another, with another review.